there are changes here uh, at the noon hour. As of this morning, the Fish Hatchery Road uh, reconstruction meeting has been uh, canceled as far as the uh, on-site meeting goes. However, that meeting tonight will be broadcasted still live on FACT TV. So we will have the uh, presenters from the uh, meeting that we're going to be there tonight in person. They're actually going to be here in studio tonight. And starting at 530, we will still give the same presentation out to you uh, as far as what's happening uh, with the project. So you get all the information. And then we're going to take questions as well. You'll be able to call in, email, uh, or uh, check us out on uh, Facebook. We'll uh, try to get all your questions answered tonight and uh, during that broadcast. That'll be from 530, so still at the same time. Runs through 630. And then we'll, of course, rebroadcast this as well. So uh, if you miss it, uh, you'll be able to check it out, uh, available uh, right away there online. But again, uh, this is in response to uh, the Dane County uh, uh, Health Department uh, uh, in relation to the coronavirus. Basically, they're asking that uh, any, any large groups, uh, large events with uh, potentially large groups, uh, to uh, reconsider doing that. And uh, because of this, uh, that is why we are uh, going this direction with uh, still getting you the information. And I suspect, I mean, Fact TV here, we've been prepared for, for something like this, and uh, we'll be ready to go to continue to provide uh, all information uh, that we can from the city. And this is a great uh, start here. Uh, so again, that meeting tonight still happening, uh, just not going to be uh, a public meeting, if you will, uh, for you to come out and see it. Uh, you'll be able to watch it here on Fact TV. There'll be signs posted up uh, at the Wyndham. That's where it was going to be at, to uh, remind folks who don't get this information, but pass it on if you can, uh, that that meeting tonight will be uh, via uh, online. You'll be able to watch it on FACT TV on our Gov Channel F3. Uh, we have three cable outlets uh, to provide to you. We'll be broadcasting it on our Facebook page. That's FACT TV Fitchburg. Uh, just look for, uh, for our logo. And then, of course, on Apple TV and Roku. Again, call in with your questions, email your questions. Uh, we'll be uh, taking those and answering them right uh, during uh, tonight presentation so uh, that's uh, that's what we've got going on in that front now we got some cancellations to tell you about uh, uh, because of the virus and again uh, I think a lot of these organizations are taking uh, precautions here and uh, we'll pass it along as they come in uh, Badger Prairie Needs Network will be uh, canceling their community meals uh, they've decided that uh, the Saturday community meals will be canceled through April after uh, talking with the meal staff program leaders and board members they have determined that the most responsible thing that they can do to protect the community is close down the meals for a few weeks and then reassess. As you may have read, there are a lot of concerns uh, with uh, large groups uh, gathering in uh, spaces. So uh, with that uncertainty, uh, they're going to hold back and, uh, and, and then they'll provide more information as it uh, becomes available. And we'll pass that on to you. Uh, but as far as their, uh, the, the kitchen, or the kit, well, they do have the kitchen there. Um, but although their other services are still going to be open and ongoing, going and if any of that changes we certainly will pass that on to you now over to the boys and girls clubs of dane county they're canceling one of their bigger fundraising events uh, and uh, studies abroad programs as well and this is the information we got for you on that boys and girls club of dane county has uh, been putting the always puts their young people and communities first this uh, drives all of our decisions today our community and nation is facing a public health crisis in the form of the covid 19 the virus currently spreading throughout the county with three re reported cases, uh, and uh, this is what they're saying. However, as uh, they understand from the public officials, the community institutions and our responsibility to think bigger and help slow down all the outbreaks. Uh, so they are uh, doing the following. Uh, they have scheduled the B Boys and Girls Club was scheduled to host a 3,000 plus uh, walkers and run. Uh, runners uh, for an annual uh, Shamrock Shuffle event on Saturday morning. This was uh, this is a hundred thousand dollar fundraiser for the club. There will be uh, financial ramifications due to this cancellation for the event. Uh, that's one. They are canceling uh, the remaining spring college field trips across all school sites. Uh, they'll be canceling the remainder of the Bucks games in March and April. Uh, they're canceling all uh, study abroad programs for our college students at Edgewood, and then uh, we are canceling our Saturday Hope programming in March. 
Church. If you got any questions about this, you can call the Boys and Girls Club. Their number is 257 2606 257 2606 for more information. And we'll share up the link to that as well so you know exactly what's going on there. Uh, as far as Dane County's uh, recommendations go for the coronavirus, uh, this is right off of the uh, public health of uh, Madison and Dane County. And it's their recommendations here uh, for keeping yourself protected. Anyone who is sick uh, should stay home. That should be a thing that you follow no matter what. Uh, at any age, if you're feeling sick, just stay home. It's better off to just keep it home, stop the spread. Don't go to work or school uh, or run any errands. Avoid visiting hospitals, long-term care facilities, or nursing homes. Um, and that would be maybe to go visit somebody. Uh, you just... You don't want to do that. If you must go, stay at least six feet away from people whenever possible. Some of the hospitals, clinics may have masks uh, or may have protocols for that. I would suggest that you check all front doors when you're heading into public places. A lot of places are going to post up things uh, that will be available uh, right at the door to kind of give you instructions on uh, what's going on. So I would suggest you uh, check that out. And other, uh, other things here that we have for uh, you to keep in mind is uh, shop left often. If you go to the grocery store uh, every week, uh, you can go maybe every other week instead. You can consider that. If you're like me and my kids and they drink the milk all the time, I mean, my goodness, I can't get away from that store every other day. Uh, explore your doctor's uh, uh, virtual visit, visit options and rethink social norms, right? Avoid uh, uh, handshakes, leave a few feet. There's been so many creative ways out there uh, to, uh, you know, do the uh, traditional uh, handshake. I like the elbow one personally, but uh, that's just me. Uh, but either way, if we can practice in, practice in some social distancing right now, uh, that has been a, a big, uh, big talk about, uh, again, preventing uh, this. And moving on, try uh, online ordering. Uh, can you get the, what you need online and then maybe pick it up? Try remote options. Can you attend services or other th events remotely? And think through your commute. Can you sit or stand further from people on a bus? Can you walk, bike, or take a car instead? I uh, may want to consider that and spread out at work space permits work at least three feet from others if you can uh, and if you have an office keep your door closed uh, if uh, if you have that option wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds they say sing happy birthday twice now uh, they'll make it work and use uh, alcohol based hand sanitizer avoid touching your eyes nose and mouth with your unwashed hands and stay home again when you are sick folks that that's super important. And again, uh, continue to follow these things. Avoid uh, close contact with people who are sick. Cover your mouth uh, when you sneeze uh, with the tissue, then throw the tissue away right away in the trash. Clean and defect, uh, disinfect frequently touch objects and surfaces. You could talk about this with, uh, you know, at your work and uh, keeping things clean as well, uh, you know, by uh, putting out those uh, that hand sanitizer or those uh, wipes and uh, keep on practicing good health. Again, things that we should be uh, taking uh, caution with uh, every single day, especially during the flu season, uh, to spread uh, the, the virus. But uh, that's, uh, that's at least a snapshot of what uh, is going on as far as trying to stay healthy.